I've had tinnitus since June of 2017, so 13 months or so. Uh, I think maybe what caused it partly was I worked in a very noisy environment, a factory. Um, when I got a test of force, I had only very minimal um, hearing deficit, but I think stress could have brought, possibly brought that on too. Uh, probably did add to it, actually. Uh, I was getting maybe down to maybe two hours sleep a night. And that was purely just because you just pass out because you're exhausted. Other than that, uh, it affected everything. There's, there's no, no other way of saying it. It affected your whole life, your whole life. Um, I went to the same specialist twice and he just said, look, Ken, I don't know why you're here the second time because there is nothing I can do for you. At that particular point, I kind of, I got really bad because it was still screeching at an eight and I kind of needed somebody to say, well, this is what we can do or this is the way we can manage it. But there was nobody saying that. And then I heard about the, the trials. Clinical trials came up, delighted. Every, everybody that knew me knew how it was affecting me. They said, you have to apply, you have to apply, and it was on the radio. And I applied, kept my fingers crossed, and got selected. And I haven't looked back since. It's great. People that suffer from it will probably understand this better. But when you're sitting at home and you have your constant tone, and then for some reason just a random sound can give you a, a, a spike, where it goes just way off the scale, those spikes stop for me probably on week three. I, I haven't had those since. Like it, something simple as you go to the fridge and you know you have your plastic um, yogurt cartons and you have to snap them, like that could drive it off the scale. Something simple as that. I don't I don't get that anymore. Those spikes are gone like completely.